CBAI. Hey all, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Take Lanes feature in Suno. There are two ways you can use Take Lanes in Suno. Number one is to do the normal comping process where you can record your audio and then as you take additional takes of the same audio, you can start merging them different parts that you like from each take as all into the one main track. The second thing you can do is really the same process, but you can do it with your generative audio. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's jump in there. Alrighty, so I've got my alto sax track ready to go. I've got my recording device armed, which is just my headset today. And then I've got the, uh, the uh, record button armed to actually start recording. I'm going to go down to the beginning and then hit this record button. Uh, one thing I want to note is that I haven't found a count off feature yet in Suno. So you're not going to have that. Because of that, I'm just going to give myself two measures of count off time to play a little snippet of audio and then I'll do another recording of another take so we can compare and then use the comp feature here. Let's jump in there and do it. All right, so I've recorded my first uh, my first take, which is since I didn't have anything loaded up in the track yet, it just becomes my main track. You'll see at the section header that it is uploading and Suno is processing it. If you want to see your additional takes, once so, once you have them, you can go into the ellipses button and then click on it and go to show take lanes right here. So now I have my version one. Let's go ahead and revert, record a version two that sounds different and then we can start merging them together. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, so now I have a another take lane. There are three showing here. I think this feature is just kind of buggy right now. Suno Studio is in the uh, the beta version, so I found that the recording tools and the take lanes are a little weird sometimes, especially uh, with recording. Um, so you know, keep that in mind. But now I have my two versions. Um, let me show you how you would listen to them. Whenever I record a new uh, take, according to the method I'm showing you today, it does pull it in as the main track. And then the other ones you have down here get dropped down as additional take lanes. So for example, maybe I just want to listen to the latest one I did here. Let's hit play. All right, and then if I wanted to listen to the other, the first one that I did, I would just click on that, take lane line, and then play. Now, if I wanted to use this one instead, I could just click on the section header up here and then go down to this copy to main track button, and it will just pull it up there. If I wanted to do start comping in different sections, I would just go to the uh, the, the take lane that I want to use here. Helps if you click this little audio icon because it shows it to you. Maybe I just want to take a few random little tiny sections here to show. I'll do that one and I'll maybe I'll do this one. And then maybe over here, how about, and then this one. All right, so every time I highlight a section, I click copy to main track. It brings that little section <clears throat> and it makes it the part of the main track. And then the old part goes away. If I hit play and I've combined these different parts, as you can see down here on the bottom, different sections get highlighted. Uh, let me un let me um, unclick this audio button for you. Now I can see the different parts um, within my main track. I can look down at my different takes and they will be brighter versus the parts that of that take that I didn't use will be darker. Let me hit play and see how this turned out. <laughs> Okay, a little bit funny sounding, but you get the point. I brought in all these different sections in there, and now I can use the take lanes for the normal feature. Uh, normal purpose would be to create one take exactly that you like of all of your different uh, takes. Take the best part of each one and bring it into the main track. You can also do this with the generated audio. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. 
All right, so I pulled in a uh, Suno a song that's all generated, um, and then I split all the stems and pulled them into Suno Studio. I have a vocals part here, and maybe I want to change and do some of the same type of principles um, of the take lens, but use generated audio instead. I can do that. So let me go in here and find a spot uh, of the audio. It looks, I think it starts about here with the vocals. I'll hit play with all the music. Okay, so maybe I wanted to start getting other takes of that. The way that I could start generating some new audio here is I could highlight it. Uh, maybe I just want to redo that and get some uh, new takes for it. I would go down here into my context bar after I've selected a section. In this case, I'm going to re uh, replace it with this prompt here. And then uh, I've got the vocals button checked so that it's going to generate some new vocals for me. And then uh, maybe I just wanted to say another catchy vaporwave track done. Hit replace. It's going to start generating new audio for you, which will show up here in your library. So those will be uh, generating and I'll wait for that to uh, come up. And then it is going to pull in that new generated audio, but no worries because you can always pull back in your original if you preferred that. When you start to get your new generations, it's going to give you this notification bar, which just says show take lanes. It's the same thing as using the ellipses button. It'll show you your various takes and it's pulled it in. So let's see if it sounds any different here. I'll hit play. It looks like it picked version one. Okay, here's version two. Okay. They weren't the best, but I'd probably continue experimenting. Maybe I decided I didn't like those. I could just go to my original track the same way we were doing in the recorded audio, click on the section header, go down to copy the main track, and now I'm back to normal. Check this out. So this is a cool feature. If you're trying to get that perfect audio, that perfect vocal, um, you're trying to replace some stuff in Sudo. It might make it a little bit easier for you uh, to use the take lanes now that it's available. And that's about it on how to use this feature. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, why don't you go ahead and give me a subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get all the latest videos. Hit the like button, leave a comment below of videos you'd like me to cover or features you'd like me to talk about. And then until next time, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one and take care.